Hey Tech fans, welcome back to This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Roddy Jones. The Georgia Tech football team suffered its second heartbreaking overtime loss of the season this past Saturday, losing to the Miami Hurricanes 42-36. The Jackets quickly fell behind 19-0 early in the game before storming back and taking a 36-19 lead and eventually losing in overtime. Tevin Washington led the team with three rushing touchdowns and Orwin Smith and Tony Zinnan each added a touchdown. The team will attempt to regroup this Saturday when it hosts Middle Tennessee State at noon in Bobby Dodd Stadium. It will be televised on RSN. Middle Tennessee State had an open date on Saturday and brings a two-game winning streak to Atlanta. To purchase tickets, visit RamblerRec.com or call 888-TECH-TICKS. The Georgia Tech volleyball team won a perfect 2-0 over the weekend, scoring ACC victories over Boston College on Friday night and Maryland on Sunday. The Jackets won both matches in straight sets. Setter Kaylee Colson notched a double-double for the Jackets in Sunday's match with 30 assists and 11 digs. Seniors Bailey Hunter and Monique Mead had 12 and 14 kills respectively. The wins made the volleyball team a perfect 7-0 at home and 3-0 in ACC play. The Jackets will put their perfect conference record on the line this weekend when they take on NC State Friday at 7 and North Carolina Sunday at 1. The women's tennis team had a great weekend at the Southern Shootout hosted by Georgia State at Piedmont Park over the weekend, going 5-1 on Friday, 5-1 on Saturday, and winning both doubles matches on Sunday. The next fall event for the Jackets will be the Alabama Invitational, October 5th through 7th in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Senior Elizabeth Kilborn, after earning two singles wins over ranked opponents in the tournament over the weekend, will head to the Riviera ITA All-American Tournament in Pacific Palisades, California as an alternate to the qualifying draw. Kilborn is ranked number 94 in the preseason rankings. The golf team will wrap up the Ping Golf Week Invitational Monday and Tuesday of this week. The event is hosted at the Capital City Club Crab Apple in Alpharetta, which will be the site of next spring's Men's NCAA Division I Championship. Congratulations to our Student Athletes of the Week, Tony Zinnan of Football and Kaylee Colson of Volleyball. Zinnan, a sophomore from Albany, Georgia, recorded his first rushing touchdown of his career on a 35-yard scamper on Georgia Tech's first series of the second half. He finished the game with 57 yards rushing and two receptions for 74 yards receiving. Colson, a junior setter from Austin, Texas, had 56 assists and 8 service aces over the two matches. She also added her third double-double of the season against Maryland with 30 assists and 11 digs. That's all for today. Join us next week for another edition of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. And remember to visit RamblerRec.com for recaps, event, and ticket information for all Georgia Tech sports. Until next time, I'm your host, Roddy Jones, saying Go Jackets!